<laughs> Hi there. Um, the video today I'm going to show you how to integrate Telegram alerts into your automated trading systems, or as it's known with C Trader, C bots. So this is where you can actually send a message via Telegram to your mobile phone from your automated trading system when there's certain um, signals or events occur. So prerequisites for this video are CTrader Platform, which is what you're looking at, and Visual Studio or Microsoft Visual Studio. It's a development environment uh, Microsoft used for C Sharp. So you can download it for free. We'll give you links for that. It's on our algorithmic trading school. Um, you can download the community edition free of charge and you can use it um, with CTrader. So I'll go straight into it then. I'll go down to the Automate tab bottom left, click on that. This is where you run all your automated trading systems and this is where you create your CBOTs. Make sure you've got the CBOTs tagged selected at the top. Click on the new button and that will create a new basic CBOT. And as you see there, it provides you with a framework for your CBOT, which you've got your on start, on tick, and on stop, three different events. So I'm going to call this CBOT Telegram Signals. See the bottom left, I'm just changing the name of the CBOT. Okay, I'm just going to build that. Okay, now I've got a CBOT called Telegram Signals. I'm going to right click on that CBOT and choose uh, Edit with Visual Studio. This should automatically um, open up Visual Studio onto your desktop. It's just loading now. I'll just drag it across from my other screen. Now you can see it's created the basic framework again um, in Visual Studio. So I'm going to go step by step and just show you how to add Telegram support, how to, how to actually set it up. So the first thing you need to do is give your CBOT access rights so you can send Telegram alerts. So I'm going to change this here to full access. Okay. Once it's changed to full access, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to change the .NET Framework version for your project. Now you're going to need 4.6 for this Telegram um, library that I'm going to use. So just go to Properties and change it from Client Profile 4 to 4.6 of the Framework. Okay, once that's done, um, what you need to do now, just close this window. Um, you want to include the library now for Telegram. So to include the library, we right click on the solution top right choose Manage NuGet Packages for Solution. Now click on the Browse icon, top left, and type in Telegram. Now that's going to do a search, and it should come back with um, a list of different Telegram uh, packages that you can install onto this solution. It's running a bit slow, I'm not sure why. Should have automatically found them by now. So the first one you see at the top, telegram.bot by Robin, uh, sorry, Round Robin Pulad, 800,000 downloads. This is the one you want. This is the one that this uh, tutorial is based on. So select that and make sure the boxes are checked there. Grab the latest version, click install. If you don't have the right framework installed, it will actually come up and tell you at the bottom of the screen here, if you've got your output window, it will tell you that your framework is incorrect. Click I accept. All this is done is create um, a couple, it's, a, it's referenced to assemblies, newtonsoft.json, telegram.bot. So you've now got, included on your project now, libraries for the telegram messages that we're about to send. I'll just close that. The next thing you need to do is to create a telegram class. So click on your project, right click on it, and add a new class. Call it telegram. .cs. Okay, that's created a basic class now, but nothing in it. Now, at the bottom of this YouTube video, we're going to provide a um, blog or an article when we're going to supply the code that I'm about to show you. So this is the code here that I'm dragging across. Um, you can either access it as a CS class file or as a text file like this. I'm just going to copy it. I'm going to remove everything there and I'm going to paste it in there. So this is your class file for your Telegram support. Something new that's come in recently is the, um, sorry, that is wrong there. I'll make sure that's correct when we put it across. Some, something that's come out recently is this up here, security protocol for um, Telegram, and it wasn't working for a lot of people at the start of the year. So you need to make sure this is in your class construct for this here so it works. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is, again, we've just got some basic code here to help you get started. So that's your class now. So you've now got a Telegram class 
attached to your project. It's just a copy and paste job. It should be very simple. What we're going to do now is add a few parameters. And again, I'm going to copy and paste them from this file here. And these are user parameters that you'll see when you start the CBOT. And I'm also going to add one more and call it message. OK, I'm just going to create another user parameter, if I can spell properly. And I'm just going to call it message. And now we've got three user parameters for sending the Telegram alert. Now, the actual code for sending the Telegram alert is super simple. I'm going to do it on the on, on the on start so that when this robot starts, it will actually send the message. First of all, you just construct the class. You just go Telegram. Telegram equals new Telegram. OK. Um, Again, I'll get rid of that comma. And we'll supply, this code. We'll supply um, the example code for this project as well. This will be uh, provided. So I'm hoping this video is going to be part of the Algorithmic Trading School. And we're going to do a lot more videos to help um, traders learn how to write their own algorithms. So we've constructed the class now. Now we need to access the method. So we just go telegram dot. And we've got one called send message. Now in send message, you can see it wants the chat ID. So we'll put the chat ID in. It's got to be the same as your values up here, bot token, your token. So bot token, you can see it's the same one as we've got on our user parameters. And the last one is message. I'm not going to put any um, error exceptions or anything like that in this, this one. It's going to be very basic. OK, that's it. It's just two lines of code. Now, if I was to actually run this, um, first of all, I'm going to build it. Now, if I was you, you can actually build it with Visual Studio first just to see if there's any um, underlying bugs in your main project and just by clicking build. But you might notice there's some things that aren't quite right between Visual Studio and um, yeah, see, it's got access rights issues there. So just click on the build again there and it's built successfully. So you might get a few issues like that. If it does happen, just um, build it from the um, C Trader um, code editor window. So now I've built it. It's actually got a, a robot now with three user parameters and some very basic code for sending a Telegram alert. So I'm actually going to just quickly go to my Telegram window. This is my Telegram um, account credentials that I'm going to send. And I'm actually going to, it's very test. And I'm, first of all, I'm going to open up a um, CBOT instance. Doesn't matter what it is for this example. Click on the pl uh, play button. Oops, no, I don't want to play it yet. So you can see you've got some parameters there. I don't want to play it yet. I want to put the parameters in. So it's asking for my bot token. So I'm going to put in my bot token um, for my demo account and just paste it in there. I didn't copy it properly. Try it again. So this is my Telegram bot token. We've also got videos that explains how to get hold of your chat ID. So if you need to get hold of it, we've got a video to show you. Now I'm going to put a message in here. I just put hello. And if I click play, you'll see that it actually starts um, and fires a message off. And there's my Telegram message. So that's a Telegram message that's come in. Um, the next thing you need to do is um, pretty straightforward, is close the robot, go to the code. You can actually go from the Visual Studio editor, now, uh, sorry, the uh, C-Trade editor. Now you can put this code anywhere you want. So all you, need, all you could do is just declare the class on the on start and anywhere you want to send a, a message like when the robot stops you can fire it here so again if i change this to say this robot has stopped i want to click play it's fired it and it shouldn't have because i shoved it in the on stop not on the on start you know why because i didn't build it okay so that's a very basic mistake it's looking at the old code so it's picked up my message, but it's looked at the old code. So if I build it again, and I need to build it from, oops, I know why, it's my mistake. Um, OK, bit of a coding error here. I'm going to quickly show you why it's a mistake. That's a mistake because I've declared it on the on start, but it's not global. So if you do want to use it anywhere else, put it outside of a method. OK, just declare it there construct it there, and then you can use this variable anywhere in your project. So I build that again. OK, that will build. Now if I go back to C Trader and just build it again there. 
Okay, so now we've declared the Telegram object out global. It's global, so you can use it within any, any kind of method. We've declared it on the on start, we've constructed it, but we're actually calling it in a separate method completely called the on stop. Now, if I press start, actually, I need to change the values again. It's, it did it actually automatically there. I press on start again. Now, that message will only come up, as you just saw there, when I click the on stop. So if I click stop, it comes up again. So there you go. Very basic example. Probably went on a bit longer. That's how to integrate Telegram support into your um, automated trading systems. And if you do like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you don't know who we are, we are clickalgo.com. And here we are. We provide um, trading tools, trading software, and education for the C Trader trading platform. Find us just by typing in clickalgo.com. Um, we've got a lot of videos as well. And this is our YouTube channel. So if you're not familiar with our YouTube channel, come and subscribe to us. It will also be on the bottom of this video link. And we've got, again, got a lot of videos to help traders. There you go. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up because it really helps us out. Cheers.